Shalom. This is Abidan of the tribe of Benjamin. Kaolayim, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Raka Kodash. All honors to the elder apostles who push the truth and sincere truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, today video, we're just going to do a repost about this idiot, Fat Albert, who's disrespecting the elders on the street. You know what I mean? Talking, the gentlemen are teaching the word and reaching out to the 144 of the house of Israel, just the 12 tribes. That's all we're doing this for, is for the 12 tribes. Not for no scoffers or no mockers or, 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 or idiots or the wicked. All right? So I'm going to hit a few scriptures. I'm going to show you all the video. This dude's an idiot, El Apostle. Played the video on a repost. And it's one of the camps called, uh, I'll bring it up, it's like Yahweh, Yahweh's camp. I'll show you the video. And uh, there's this mocker, man. He's just a coon. Just cooning, you know what I mean? So, we're going to start with Ecclesiasticus, which is Sirach as well. That's in your Apocrypha. All right. 39 and 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, right? Plain unto the holy, because the holy understand his ways. So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. All right? Because the wicked doesn't hear the frequency of Yahweh. They don't hear the frequency of Yahweh. They don't get it. And it's not for them. All right? So it's a frequency that's strictly for us. And that's how Most High intended it. You know what I mean? So, got some definitions here. Also, let's go to these. Google. Cooning. Definition. Cooning is when a self-hating African American plays the fool for a white audience in exchange for... For limited social acceptance, the latter are willing to give within their racial. All right. So that's cooning when a self hating African American plays the fool for a white audience, man. And brothers been doing this from the beginning of time, you know what I mean? These African Americans, they get caught up in this syndrome. You know what I'm saying? And we got that here as well. That's called Stockholm Syndrome. Wikipedia, Google. Stockholm Syndrome is a condition which causes hostages to develop psychological alliance with their captors during captivity. All right? Stockholm Syndrome, Wikipedia. That's what this coon... In this video, got a problem with, you know what I mean? He got Stockholm syndrome. He cooning for the white audience. You feel me? And he loves his captives. And you know, when we out here teaching and for the public, this is what we may have to deal with. These coons out here. All right, it's priest Yakanin. It's a video Fat Albert cooning for Esau. All right, you can find it on YouTube repost. Uh, these brothers are speaking the truth out here, but this coon with Stockholm Syndrome just pissed me off. You know what I'm saying? I had to just repost a video. Like, you know what I mean? This is what they out here doing. This is the two-thirds. This is the wicked. You know what I mean? With the stumbling block. Man, check out this. BS.
Y'all see this coon ass nigga? You feel me? From the beginning of time. Israelites, this is what we've been dealing with. This is these are the brothers that didn't want us to come out of slavery. You feel me? They still want us to be picking cotton. You feel me? Cooning. Out here disrespecting the man of the Lord, but gonna go up to Esau, this pink, red, hairy looking bastard, and show him some respect and talk to him in a calm voice. But disrespecting priest your cannon who's on the streets, you feel me? Or 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 the 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 Israelites that are on the streets. I don't know if it is priest your cannon, but it is Yahweh's camp. I mean, I'll pull up the the name of their camp so y'all can see. You know what I mean? Let's see here. So yeah, but as y'all can see. That was the cooning going on in the video, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that brothers call him out, you know what I mean? Coon, 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 coon. Straight up, that's how you got to get them now, right? Because they want to act like that? Cooning is when a self-hating African-American plays the fool for a white audience in exchange for limited social acceptance. All right, that's what's wrong with these brothers today, and the and the same with the with the culture, the Mexicans. All right, I know a lot of Mexican brothers that don't claim that they're Mexican; they want to be called Hispanic. All right, so Esau got a lot of the Israelite brothers turning into coons. Whether you're so-called black. Native American or Hispanic or Mexican, you know what I mean? Regardless, nobody wants to claim it. You know what I mean? Mexicans want to be white now, which ain't even a color, all right? And black folks is trying to, uh, they got self-hate towards their own kind so they can have social acceptance. Straight up, all right? So don't, don't let yourself be this coon brother and and don't surround yourself around these coon type brothers, you know what I'm saying? Cuz all they going to do is take you down. They here like agents to try to cause confusion. But he's confounded. All right, let's hit a couple more scriptures. Yeah, they call him out though, you know what I mean? Coon, coon, you got to get him. Show him who he is. Out there disrespecting the brothers. That are teaching, trying to save his soul, right? Bring him back to the 12 tribes. But he want a coon for Esau. Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing the first that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust. All right? This brother was so ignorant, he couldn't even hear the word. Of Yahweh, he can't even hear the frequency of Yahweh, right? He's there to disrespect, scoff. And these are the last days, you know what I mean? But he walking after his own lust. Example, the scriptures always tell the truth, Israelites. Don't surround yourself around these Uncle Tom type brothers, you know what I'm saying? These coons, these with Stockholm Syndrome. 
They're going to get you caught up out here, Israelites. They fighting for the other side. This is Jude. Chapter 1. Verse 18. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time. Who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. All right, that's a clear example. Mockers in the last time again who should walk after their own ungodly lust. That is anti against Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. Ungodly, right? Ungodly means not with Yahweh. Straight up. That's Jude 1 and 18. All right. So these scoffers and these mockers, they're going to come out in these last days and try to speak foul against the prophets of the Most High. And they have no respect for our Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. So we definitely do not respect these scoffers and mockers and coons, all right? Psalms 35. Verse 16. With hypocritical mockers in feast, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Right? Mockers. Trying to gnash upon the prophets with their teeth, with their haters. You know what I mean? That's what we call them nowadays, haters. Okay? Hypocritical mockers. They're hypocrites. Mockers. Of the Most High. The one that gives them a heartbeat and created us all. Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, we don't stand for this nonsense out here. These mockers and these hypocritical coons with Stockholm Syndrome are all going to burn in the last days. All right, and that's a promise from our Lord. All right, I'm going to do one more for you. So it's going to make this a short one. Isaiah. Uh, let's try it. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 6 I will send him against an hypocritical nation right that's America a hypocritical nation right they do evil amongst everyone but they don't want anyone to do anything against them hypocrites right everything they they supposed to be good god-fearing Christians but everything in their society is about satanism and praise to evil I will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. So that's what you hypocritical nation, that's what y'all got coming for you is the wrath of the Most High. All right, he gonna send his, his Israelites 144 against the people right to take charge we're going to take the spoil and to take the prey especially us benjamins right we good with taking the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets so straight up stay away from these fat albert type brothers with this estrogen energy all right out here uh scorning and mocking scoffers and mockers Against Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, our great and holy God, the only one true God for our people. All right? Stay away from these cooning type brothers, straight coons with the Stockholm Syndrome. They just love America, all right? They don't want to let it go. They love the Matrix. So let's stay away from those people, Israelites. Don't end up being like one of these hypocritical coons, all right? You see how ugly he looks? That's not us. That's not we. He's against us and we. All right, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm out.